video family this is Tish thanks for watching lose weight now TV oh, I just got done running with that dog so I'm all sweating and I'm getting ready to do the um, <clears throat> a mod workout because I'm trying to do the 10 day challenge um, because I had slacked off and then <clears throat> excuse me I don't know what's wrong with my voice um, so and I hadn't been on Lose Weight Now TV, I mean on YouTube for a while. So I got on and then I was watching everyone and more people were saying how they were slacking. <clears throat> and I started thinking, why is it towards the end of the year? I mean, besides the holidays, that's obvious. But like I, I realized for me, for October, because it's Halloween, all the candy is just there and you know, you walk into Target and it's there. Even the grocery stores, it's right there in the door. But now that I'm more conscious, you know, I'm like, you know what? That's why. You're like shopping. You're like, oh, I need Halloween candy. And you just pick up a bag and throw it in there. And then before you know it, <clears throat> you've eaten all half the candy before Halloween gets here. So, but this year, I have a 17-year-old and even my 10-year-old, he's really not. They're not doing it at his school because it's on Saturday or Sunday, whatever. So he's not even really into it this year either. So, But then I figured out McDonald's has their Monopoly thing. And so there's like double the McDonald's commercials on the radio and the TV. And so before I used to go to McDonald's to get coffee in the morning and I would get... I'd get a hash brown or, <clears throat> you know, something. I wouldn't get a whole meal. But then it was like, oh, Monopoly, and the hash brown wrapper has the game pieces. And, you know, and then you start figuring out which food, the super size fries has it on there. So you start getting more. But, um, <clears throat> so I'm like, I'm not even going. But all this year, actually, I've been making my own coffee. So I haven't gone to McDonald's, and so that's another thing. But even Costco, they have all the cakes, and the pumpkin pie is out already. And so <clears throat> it's just making a conscious effort not to make those impulse buys of the fa you know your favorite goodies. But I had an idea, <clears throat> because I watch a lot of the makeup ladies, or whatever you want to call them, on YouTube. And I noticed some of them, many of them, have a monthly favorites. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a food, monthly food favorite. Because, you know, with the weight loss thing, we're trying new stuff all the time. At least I am. I'm trying new things. And um, so I had two things that I wanted to share with you. <clears throat> One of them is not, you know, it's, it's a coconut oil. See this coconut oil? Now this... 365 that is the Whole Foods brand if you go to Whole Foods the store called Whole Foods 365 every day is their um, brand and that's the third brand that I've tried and I really like this one um, I've gotten other ones they all said unrefined they all said virgin coconut oil this one says expeller pressed so I don't know if that makes a difference but when I use this one, I can taste this one. And I've been using it um, in, we eat a lot of rice. I know, rice isn't good, I know, but um, <clears throat> I think it's better than mashed potatoes with tons of butter in it. Um, so, But I've been putting the coconut oil, a teaspoon of the coconut oil in there. And... Um, it, I don't know if you've ever had this Caribbean dish called coconut rice and beans. It tastes so good. And when you put that in the rice, it kind of has that taste to it. Plus, I put some other seasonings in it to make it for my 10-year-old. He won't eat just plain rice. Um, <clears throat> and then someone recommended to me to put a teaspoon of it in my shake, the Isogenics shake. I did that. It's great. I love it. My teenager loves it. Um, and what else? I use it. I make crepes and pancakes. And I'll put that because I'll put that on the griddle 
so the pancakes and crepes don't stick. But um, it says you can only use it to medium heat, and which it says 280 degrees Fahrenheit. So I don't use it like on meat or anything because I usually cook my meat at 350. But um, I guess when you cook it, it breaks down whatever's in it. And I'm going to do some more research because I heard that I read and heard from a lady that I like. Um, this is a fat, but this is a good fat. And, and when you use coconut oil, this fat takes the fat out of you somehow. It helps um, break up the fat that's in you so it comes out of your system. So that would be a benefit. But also, I use this on my skin. I use it in my hair as a deep conditioner, so it just has a lot of things you can use it for. Um, yeah, so coconut oil, and then this, Nutella, Nutella, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. From my 10 year old, who's, he's very picky in one way, but in another way, he's open to try new things. And he has two friends whose moms are chefs. Okay, so imagine he goes to spend the night at their house and he comes home to my cooking. But um, he kept begging me to try it, try it, try it. And I was like, no way. I'm not, I'm not a big nut person. And it's a hazelnut spread with skim milk and cocoa. And it's a spread. Well, you can't see that. But the lady that, the way that he likes it is she makes crepes and she puts this on it instead of syrup. And he likes that, and you know, so that's good. It's less sugar. And then the other, the other lady, she uses it for all kinds of stuff. But I went over her house the weekend. She put it in coffee. Oh my goodness, it was so good. So I broke down and bought it. And um, my son wanted this with peanut butter for lunch, for a sandwich. So it is kind of fattening, I think, because it has a hundred fat calories in two tablespoons but two tablespoons is a lot so I only used one teaspoon in my coffee and it was good it was enough and I used maybe maybe one teaspoon on his sandwich so you don't really need a lot but it's really good it tastes like chocolate it tastes like chocolate so this is my favorite for October I just hope I don't get addicted to it. But And if you saw one of my other videos where I said that I usually put like 8 teaspoons of sugar in my coffee. Let me show you. This is my coffee. But I drink this all day. I don't just drink it all at once. So it's probably like 2 or 3 cups of coffee. But see, you can see the dark brown on top. So I use this and I only put 2 teaspoons of sugar so this is going to help me cut down on my sugar <clears throat> so that's going to help too okay so I made a really long video I didn't want to but let me know what were your food favorites for October and maybe we could do this every month who knows so again thank you for watching oh I haven't weighed myself but I'm still walking the dog I still do my leg magic and I can still I'm in my size 16 jeans and I can still put them on right out of the dryer without having to, you know, stretch and lay down. So I'm figuring that I'm maintaining my weight. So I didn't even do my shakes. I'm doing them like for lunch. I'll usually do a shake for lunch because the kids aren't here. I don't need to cook. So I, I'll have a shake for lunch and then I have dinner. But I think I'm maintaining. And so now with the 10 day challenge, I'm focused to get back into the half an hour of treadmill but I'm not going to do the treadmill I'm going to do that Ahmad workout that the lady sent and uh, even though the 10 day thing I think is I'm already 3 days in and I haven't done it but it's still the point was to get motivated again to not put on those holiday 10 pounds or 5 pounds like I used to in the past sorry it's such a long video um, bless and be blessed see you in the next video